I'm here in the kitchen for today's macro photography tutorial because I'm exploring the insides of bell peppers. These are really interesting when you get up close in macro, so I'm going to get started and I'll see you in just a sec. Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adapt Looks and today we're exploring the pepper. We did some fruit in a video a couple of weeks ago and that was really, really exciting seeing all the insides of these different fruits. But I think peppers are going to be unique and very, very interesting all on their own. I'm going to start chopping these up, see if we can't get inside and have a look at some of the seeds using our macro lens. I've got my peppers at the ready. I've also got my uh, chopping board and knife all set to go. What I want to do is try and get into these peppers in a way that lets me see all of the seeds without disturbing the structure of the pepper all that much. And I think the way that I'm going to do that is by chopping off the bottom of my pepper. Now, if you're not sure uh, where your uh, pepper and your seeds are actually going to start inside here, uh, be cautious take a little chop off the end and then move inwards. If you chop too much, you can't add the pepper back in, um, but you can always take a little bit more off. So I'm going to start chopping and see if I can't get a nice little viewport into the seeds inside. Now the seeds inside these peppers all attach themselves to the top. So I've chopped off the bottom of the pepper, revealing the all of these seeds are all arranged on the inside. Um, stuck to the inside of the pepper while leaving all of the outside intact. What I want to do is get my macro lens down in here and get a shot of these seeds uh, while lighting the pepper from the sides. Uh, I've chopped three peppers, I've got three different styles of seeds. Uh, one of them I've not chopped quite all of the way because um, he made a nice little smiley face and I think I'll start by taking a picture of this uh, to show off what I want from our lighting. What I'm doing here is shining the light through the outside of the pepper. This gives a really uh, bright red glow on the inside. I think this is going to be really interesting, especially when we get rid of our little smiley face and take a look at the seeds. Uh, to begin with though, what I've done here is shine two white lighting arm S's through the outside of the pepper. These are our more powerful uh, lighting arms, so they've got more power to shine through that meat of the pepper and get more light onto the inside. Uh, so I've just got them set up in the pod on a tripod here, and I'm going to be shooting freehand so that I can manipulate the pepper and also move around with my, uh, with my camera. All of this is going to be done using the lighting. Uh, I'm going to be getting nice and close so I don't need to worry about a background and I'm going to be shooting freehand so I don't need to worry too much about the positioning. I'm going to uh, take the face off my pepper, uh, maybe grab one of the others and start uh, taking a look at the inside proper. Exploring down inside our peppers uh, is really interesting. It almost looks like some sort of um, alien egg nest or something like that because of the structure of these seeds. With the bottom of our peppers chopped off, uh, we can get really close in, right down inside our pepper and explore these, uh, these seeds. Uh, what I've done with my lighting to uh, facilitate this is to continue shining those two bright lighting arm S's through the outside of the pepper and then bring two uh, diffused normal white lighting arms round the front. This gives me four lighting arms, four sources of light to manipulate uh, depending on the angle that I want to get. Getting the light down inside these peppers is the big challenge. Uh, finding a nice spot uh, of lots of little clusters of seeds, that's pretty easy. Getting the light down in there to where you want it to be is considerably trickier. Shining that light in through the bottom gives you a nice bright red glow coming up from the back of the pepper and then those two white lighting arms from the front give the seeds uh, uh, the more natural colour, uh, the white colour and a little bit of contrast to the image in terms of colour. 
Otherwise, we'd be looking at just a very plain red image lit through the sides uh, and all of the light would be red and there'd be no contrast there. I'm going to keep playing around with this, see if I can't find a few more interesting angles and techniques for getting light inside of the peppers. Exploring it a little bit around uh, the insides of my peppers, I decided that I wanted my light to be a little bit more even on the underside. As the light shines through the bottom of the pepper, uh, generally you're going to have to get the lighting arms pretty close, uh, either in one direction or another. Um, the way that I've solved that is by using a mirror. Placing my mirror down on my uh, shooting surface on my table and then shining the light into the mirror to then bounce back up against the bottom of my pepper uh, spreads that light out a little bit. It gets it underneath the pepper a little bit more without me having to raise up the pepper. Uh, now of course you could simply put the pepper on its side uh, and shoot in from the back. I've done a little bit of that, it's pretty effective, but it does mean that you've got to get low down, you've got to shoot in from the side. It's a little bit awkward. Uh, by using the mirror, it just spreads the light out a little bit. So if you've got a mirror handy, it might be worth uh, trying to shoot on top of a reflective surface like this, and making use of those reflections to put the light exactly where you need it to be. I've actually taken away one of my um, one of my main lights, one of my key lights on the top here, uh, simply because I wanted to balance that light a little bit more. I wanted more light underneath the pepper and uh, less light coming in from the top. It gives it more of an eerie cave-like feeling, and that feeling can actually be exploited a little bit more by not focusing so much on those seeds. Uh, I've noticed that the inside texture of the walls of the peppers are very interesting as well. These textures, um, they're very bumpy and uh, when lit from a single direction actually look like the insides of a cave wall. Uh, by trying to get some of this in focus as well as some seeds, it really emphasizes that feeling of being inside some sort of uh, alien egg uh, nest. Um, especially when you're looking at the seeds that grow up the sides of these walls as well. The stems, uh, I'm not sure of the proper name for them, but these are uh, parts of the pepper that uh, connect the center to the outside. Some of them might have some, um, some seeds, some alien eggs growing up the inside. So try and get an angle in on those as well. I've been shooting in from angles like this to try and get uh, a shot of the wall, of the seeds, and of uh, the textures of that piece that moves up the side. I'm really having fun experimenting with these. So here's a couple more shots that I've been getting. One more thing that I'm trying today is adding a little bit of colour, uh, artificially using colour filters and coloured lighting arms. I'm putting some colour filters like the green, uh, purple and pink onto my white lighting arms and that really complements uh, the red, the deep reds coming from the pepper itself. Uh, it also um, enhances that sort of feel of alien worlds and alien egg nests and caves, especially if you've seen uh, the alien films, um, greens play a big part in those films. So I wanted to just experiment with adding a few additional colors uh, as well as our red. There's another way that you can do that and that's simply by using a different color of pepper. My peppers are red so the light that I'm getting from the back is red. If you try a green or a yellow pepper, uh, you might be able to get equally interesting colors out of those. I'm going to stick with my red peppers, uh, but experiment with a few more colors. I think these peppers are probably one of the most interesting subjects 
I've shot. Uh, certainly um, one of the most interesting fruits that I've shot, and they are a fruit because they have seeds. Uh, Sam taught me that during my last video, uh, so I made a point of bringing these uh, particular fruits off into their own video because I think they have a really interesting interior that you can make uh, a lot of use out of. You can have an entire shoot just exploring some peppers. And what a shoot it's been. It's been really interesting chopping the ends off, getting right into the uh, center of these peppers and exploring those seeds, making use of our lighting and uh, the angles of how we can actually get the lens and uh, our composition into the inside of the peppers. I've got peppers just about everywhere. I've got lighting arms everywhere. I've got curious cats everywhere. Um, so it's time for me to pack up and say goodbye. But uh, I want to know what you guys think to today's subject and to today's shoot. You can go and see the results over on our blog. Uh, there's a link in the description. If you're enjoying these macro photography tutorials, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any tutorials, ideas or inspiration coming in the future. For now though guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.